Hello, ladies and gentlemen. You can read from the title, uh, Superman John Kent Comes Out as Bisexual. And I wanted to explore this uh, topic, this piece of news. This is relatively old news, actually. Um, I believe Ethan uh, Van Skyver came out uh, and said this a little while ago, along with some other individuals. But I thought I thought we'd take a look at this from... And, and also, FYI, the interview with the writer actually reveals an awful lot. And I think this is sad, right? Like... You are so much more than your sexuality, right? Like I don't, I don't run around prancing around saying how I'm straight, and you know, my sexuality defines me. Um, so I'm kind of coming at it from this angle that I, th and how mainstream media is portraying it here. Like this, this particular uh, title here is, you know, comes out as bisexual. It's like, okay, tell me something interesting about the character. The fact that he, you know, likes both, um, you know, P and, you know, P and V. That's not interesting. You know, it, it's just not. It's not compelling. Uh, it doesn't... Well, it, it doesn't interest anyone that has any semblance of a life. Uh, and, and I think that's sad, right? So let's dive into it. Because I don't see an issue with any of this, generally speaking. Like, I just don't. I don't care. I couldn't care less. And despite everyone probably... You know, well, the, the minority here, you know, typing furiously in the comments going, Mr. H is homophobic. I'm not. Uh, at all, because I think it's really important that, you know, there are characters out there that, you know, are, I don't know, show the whole range of the spectrum, but when it's done right, you know, it needs to be done right, and leading with headlines like this, and, I mean, it's just not compelling, like, there doesn't, there's, there seems to be no actual reason for it, but yes, no, the writer does give a reason for it, and that's quite sad, um, and I mean that, like, it, it actually, it shows that this person shouldn't be writing comics at all. Uh, and I, I genuinely feel sorry for the writer here. So let's dive into it, okay? Dive into this IGN article, we'll sort of read it together. And, and I want you to come up with your own thoughts about this as well, right? I want your opinions on this. Uh, the comic book industry has worked to increase LGBTQ plus representation in recent years. Now that's important, so it says in recent years, so that'd be a couple plus a few, you know, I don't know, three to four years, right? I think we can probably say that that's been the time span that they've been working with, and it's important to keep that in mind. So they've been looking to increase it over the past three to four years, uh, and DC is taking a major step forward in 2021. IGN can exclusively exclusively reveal that the current Superman, John Kent, is coming out as bisexual in the upcoming Superman, Son of Kal-El number five. For those not up to date on the current DC line, John officially inherited the mantle of Superman from his father following the events of the Future State crossover. While Action Comics explores Clark Kent's adventure off-world, the recently launched Superman Son of Kal-El focuses on the 17-year-old John as he grapples with the biggest responsibility of his young life. But at least he has someone new to share that life with. Okay, fine. Uh, fans of the series probably won't be too surprised to learn that John is entering into a relationship with Jay Nakamura, a hacktivist who idolises John's mother Lois and has already lent his new friend a helping hand. And as this image shows, the two friends will become something more when they share their first kiss. Here you go. I mean, they've literally... Where's his lips? What? What? Where's, where's Superman's lips? Like, for God's sake. I mean, this shows the artist is shite anyway, at the very least, let's be honest. Um, so here we go, right, here we go. Listen to the reasons, and this is where it becomes sad. And I do mean that. I stand by that. I think it is sad. Over the years, in this industry, it probably won't surprise you to hear that I've had queer characters and storylines rejected. I felt like I was letting down people I loved every time this happened. And that's the writer, Tom Taylor. Now, you should never feel like you're letting anyone down that you personally love, uh, when things that you want to include have been rejected, because you are beholden to the fans, not people that you love. What are you doing? Um, and again, this is this is what I mean. It, would you say, ladies and gents, not only as a business but as you know, creatively speaking, that that is the right way to include these kind of uh, elements in a comic? I disagree. I don't think that is the right way. I don't think. You should be doing it because you are trying to push something that your loved ones would approve of. No. You do it to the approval of the fan base that are going to buy your comic. And this this is the very crux of the matter as to why comic books are going downhill, ladies and gents. Because you have writers like Tom Taylor, who is only looking for approval from his loved ones. Not the fan base. 
Not the people that are actually going to pay for this product. No. And that therein lies the problem. It's not done in the right and appropriate way. But we're in a very different and much more welcome place today than we were 10 or even 5 years ago. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. As an LGBTQ plus representation, I've been looking to be pushed in recent years, you know, through to 4. Yes. So what's going on there? I smell a porky pie. And not the nice pastry type. Uh, when I was asked if I wanted to write a new Superman with a new number one for the DC Universe, I knew replacing Clark, and here we go, here's the crux of the matter, here's the sadness, I knew replacing Clark with another straight white saviour could be a real opportunity missed to please your loved ones, not the fan base. That's sad, right? That is genuinely sad. And it gets even sadder. It, it gets really sad. I've always said everyone needs heroes and everyone deserves to see themselves in their heroes. Today, Superman, the strongest hero on the planet, is coming out. I don't associate myself with Superman because he's straight and he's white, right? He's a bloody alien. I associate with Superman, and so does most other people who are sane and have, you know, any semblance of IQ on a moralistic level, right? You connect with him on a moralistic level. He won't do this because of his morals. He won't do this because of that. You don't associate with him because he's white and he's straight, right? Otherwise, why would so many black kids love him? Why would so many gay black kids love him? Right? Like, what are you what are you talking about? Come on, you don't have to see yourself. I don't watch I don't watch Superman wiping his ass. Right? Sorry, I hate to break it to you. I wipe my ass. Right? And this this again herein lies the problem: the fact that these individuals think you must see yourselves in your heroes, and they don't. These heroes are so way beyond the connection on uh, a physical level. It doesn't matter. It's all moralistically that we connect with them. So, so sad. Very, very sad. Uh, and again, you know, we get some some comments from John Timms. You know, it's a pretty big deal doing it with John Kent as Superman. As we have seen John grow up in front of our eyes, it'll be interesting to see him not only trying to find himself as a person, but a global superhero in the complex atmosphere of modern life. On the other hand, I hope this kind of thing will not be seen as a big deal in the future. But you're making it a big deal. That's the point. You, unfortunately, are making it a big deal. Uh, and then, again, it, it's just sadness. Like All I see is sadness here. You could visualise how it could pan in the future when the most powerful man in the world is part of the LGBT community. So many things on the horizon and beyond. I, that should not define the character. The fact that he's part of the LGBT community. That's not the defining trait, isn't it? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. He's Superman. That's his defining trait. He's an alien. Well, half alien, I guess. But anyway, I found this to be fascinating. Um, and again, like I say, it's all about how you include it, right? You know, I'm not defined by the fact that I'm straight. Uh, that doesn't define me in any way, shape, or form. It only defines, you know, where I slip my dick. Um, but there you go. I just, I just think this is sad. I think it's a shame um, because it shows that the likelihood of this actually being received well is quite low. And if you did it in a way which was smarter more intelligent and for the right reasons it would probably be received much 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 better you know it should be matter of fact you shouldn't be going to ign screaming about it going please 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 showcase this we're you know lgbt like that's not that's not right that's you're making it a big deal when it doesn't need to be one thus uh you know accentuating people's problem with it and that's sad anyway let me know what you think down below if you're new here do hit subscribe thanks so much for watching take care